Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 27th Angular 2 tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can post data to Firebase. Okay, so in the last tutorial we created this method which connected to Firebase using the Firebase API and it listened for a child added event to retrieve data from the database. And that loaded in the ninjas into our application like that. Now in this tutorial, what I want to do is give the user the opportunity to add new ninjas by typing a ninja in and the belt color and then adding it to this application, to this list. Now to do that, we're going to need to form a post request to Firebase and we're going to use the Firebase API to do that as well. But first of all, we need to create a form where they can add a new ninja. Now you might notice as well that this looks a little bit ugly here at the minute. So what I want to do first of all is just dead quickly paste in a couple of rules into the directory CSS file. So I'm just going to paste these in right here. And if you want to pause and add those in yourself, you can do. It's literally just two rules which are targeting these things here to take away the dots and the padding, etc. So let's just take a look at this updated. And that looks a little bit better. Okay, cool. So let's now add that form so users can add new ninjas to this directory. So to do that, we need to go in the directory view, this HTML file, and we're gonna add this form just at the bottom underneath this UL. Now I'm gonna also take out this button because we don't need that anymore, and I'm gonna create the form here. So form, not in capitals, then I'm gonna give this an ID, and I'm gonna set this equal to add ninja, like so. Okay, cool. Then inside this form, we want a couple of input fields. We want an input field for the name of the ninja. So I'll say type equals text, like so. And we also want an input field for the belt color. So what I'm going to do is attach a model to each one of these so we can get that data and transfer it into the component class and post it. So we know how to do that. It's a square bracket, then a normal parenthesis, and then it's ng model. And then we set that equal to some kind of model, some name. Now I'm gonna store this in a property called name, and I'm gonna do the same kind of thing for this one down here. And this is gonna be called belt. Okay, cool, so we've got our two input fields now. Next, I want to add a button which they click to add this new ninja, so I'll say button and inside this button we'll add the text add ninja and then I'm going to give this a click event some event binding right here which we've also seen so I'm going to set this equal to a function which is going to be defined on our directory component in a minute and this function is going to be called fb post data and it's going to take two things it's going to take the name and the belt so I'm going to pass those both through name and belt cool so if I save this now and head over to our component, uh, we can add this method right here, FB post data. So let's go down here and call this FB post data. And this is going to take those two parameters, the ninja and the belt. And then what we're going to do is connect to our Firebase database again. So we'll say Firebase, just as we did with the get request right here, Firebase dot database, and then the ref again, which is just forward slash for the root directory. And then this time what we're going to do is push to this reference right here. Okay. And what we're going to push is an object. And the name property is going to be equal to the ninja. Or I'll change this to name. So the name is name. And the belt is belt, this thing that we passed through as well. Okay, so now we've pushed that to the database. Simple as that. That's all we need to do. So if now I view this in a browser, we're going to see down here, I'm just going to refresh and make this a little bit wider. Okay, so now we can see those two input fields. The first one, the name. The second one, the belt color. So say I want to add a new one. I'm going to call this dude Peter, a cool ninja name, and let's give him a green belt. If I click Add Ninja now, then we see Peter, green belt. So what's happening? 
Well, we're clicking this. It's firing this function because we've attached a click event to it. We're passing through these two models, the name and the belt, to that function. So when we fire this function, we can receive them. We're connecting to our Firebase database right there, at the root reference. Then we're pushing to this database using the push method. And we're pushing the object right here, which is taking these parameters and adding them to these two properties. Now, once we do that, it's automatically being added to this list. Why? It's because of this thing right here, this child added event listener that we've got going on. So when we push a new ninja to that database, this event listener triggers. It sees that a new child has been added to our database right here. And it fires this callback function, this snapshot thing right here. We get back and it pushes that new ninja that we just added to this thing right here. Okay, so then once it's added there, this view is updated. So it loops through the ninjas and the new one gets output. Make sense? So that's why we're seeing it add straight away. And we can do that again. Let's add a new one. Jenny and pink. Add ninja. And now we get that one. Cool. So that is how we use the Firebase API to get and also post to the Firebase database that we've got set up. Okay. Cool. So like I said, there's tons more to learn about Firebase. This is just a couple of methods we can use to add and read from the database. If you want to take a look through those documentation pages, I'll leave the link to those down below. I am also going to be doing a full series on Firebase in the future and showing you a lot more. Anyway, that is about enough for this Angular 2 tutorial series. I hope it's been of some benefit to you. Um, I am going to extend this in the future. I'm going to be adding on some new tutorials to do with NG module. Literally, as I got halfway through recording this series, there were some breaking changes in Angular 2. They released RC5. This is all based on RC4. Um, and everything I've taught you here works with RC5. But there are new changes particularly to do with ng module which i am going to be adding on to this series pretty soon so stay tuned for those i'm also going to be doing series on angular forms and angular animations in the future as well so stay tuned for those also any questions leave those down below otherwise i'm going to see you in the next series